What's something that's clearly a scam, but Americans have been conditioned to believe is normal? The concept of breakfast food. In America, we're taught to eat specific types of food for breakfast, scrambled eggs, toast, bacon, whatever. But in many other countries, they have completely different breakfast foods or they don't have specific breakfast foods. They just eat whatever they feel like eating in the morning. Like, I find it so weird that we have just accepted the fact that there are certain foods that you eat in the morning, most of which are not even nutritious, like pancakes, donuts, waffles. But if you eat this in the morning, you look like a freak. Trickle down economics. Everything's decided by credit, but in order to get credit, you have to go into debt. You pay monthly for insurance and it's required by law, but if you do actually use it, then they can raise your rate or make you pay a deductible. Being conditioned to believe that it's impolite to share your salary with your coworkers when really that's just something that companies made up so that they wouldn't have to answer why they pay some people more than others. You can die for your country at 18, but you can't drink a beer. Similarly, you can go thousands of dollars into debt the moment you graduate high school, but you can't rent a car till you're 25. That healthcare is a privilege, not a right. That people on welfare are the ones that are taking all your tax money when it's clearly the military. That lobbying and corporations are funding politicians so they work for them instead of a government for the people, which is what it's supposed to be. That working five out of seven days a week your entire life is normal. Who decided that? Ugh. High school will teach you the Pythagorean theorem, but won't teach you how to balance a budget or change a tire. Average cost of daycare in America is eight to twelve hundred dollars a month, just so the parent can go to work. The cost of college, period. That you have to pay a fee to withdraw your own money from an ATM after you already pay fees to have the bank account. Paying for water. Water. You could take rainwater, but no, you have to pay for that too. Maternity and paternity leave, or lack thereof, as if it isn't important to have kids and keep the population going. The U.S. has 4% of the world population, but 20% of the COVID cases, but there's nothing more we could have done. That going into monster debt over a four-year degree for the chance at a white-collar job is preferable to just learning a trade out of high school with no debt. The period tax on women. Why should we have to pay for pads and tampons? We're keeping the population going. <sighs> For health insurance purposes, your teeth and your eyes are no longer a part of your body and require their own insurance. You have to pay a penalty fee if you pay certain loans off early. This is uniquely American that the girls are expected to take care of the glizzy, but so many boys don't think they have to reciprocate. The fact that the IRS knows exactly how much money we owe them in taxes, but they won't just send us a bill. They make us actually go and file our own taxes, which leaves room for human error and then us to get in trouble for it. The fact that 97% of scientists agree that climate change is happening and we have evidence of it, as we've seen with half the country burning down, but there's still a huge portion of the country who doesn't believe that it's happening at all. That Republican lawmakers will rail about how socialism is bad while accepting their taxpayer-funded health care. That recognizing the problems of the country and talking Talking about it out loud means that we're lazy Democrats who don't want to work. I want to work. I just don't want to struggle every moment of my life. The Electoral College. I mean, it made sense when people couldn't read, but why now? We all have internet access and a basic public education. The contradiction that you're supposed to be innocent until proven guilty and yet only 3% of cases actually go to trial. Along those lines, for-profit prisons. This one's not a big deal, but why are there such giant gaps in our bathroom stalls? Pharmaceutical advertisements, please ask your doctor about persuasion. That's not normal. That we spend more money for healthcare per capita than any other country, but we're 37th healthiest in the world. That such a huge portion of our country is unwilling to grapple with the realities of our history and acknowledge that this country was built on the backs of black slaves and indigenous genocide. The lack of bidets. I don't know if you know this, but toilet paper is not common in every country. You need to try a bidet today. Overdraft fees. American banks made $11 billion in 2019 off of the backs of broke-ass people. How about this? Decline the transaction and let me keep my money. Luggage fees for airlines? Why? We already paid for the plane ticket. You know that we need to bring things when we go on a trip. Restaurants don't ask you to pay for the table when you want to sit there and eat. The fact that insulin costs $7 to produce, but it costs $99 a vial in the U.S. Why? It's $12 in Canada. It's $8 in the U.K. 
that Americans are fascinated by tiny houses, but we turn our noses up at manufactured homes. That scientists have long concluded that a whole foods plant-based diet is what's best for the country, but we still have meat and dairy on the food pyramid because lobbying. Oh, we have to pay property taxes forever, even if we've already paid off the house and land, and we pay twice the world average. <laughs> The fact that almost everybody in this country either has or knows someone who has a horror story about our healthcare system and yet so many people still think Medicare for all is like this villainous thing. Active shooter drills in school. The fact that marijuana is illegal when cigarettes aren't. <laughs> that we celebrate the fact that so many people don't take vacation or work a bunch of overtime. It's really just the company saying, fuck your personal life, we own you. That so many politicians are more focused on the power of their own party than working for the people. And I am talking about both of them. The fact that there's so much money involved in campaigns that a lot of times it's not who's best for the job, it's who has the most money. The fact that we legitimately have news anchors who present their opinions as fact on primetime television. Black history month. You're literally admitting that you just left them out of the history books for 200 years. Well done. The following sentence. Ready? <clears throat> nah, I can't afford an ambulance. I'll just get a ride to the hospital. That scientific information is now considered a political discussion. Why? When colleges have the audacity to call up their alumni and be like, can you please donate? No, I'm full ass well, I'm still paying off that damn degree. That we keep using freedom as like our biggest flex. Like we're free, we're the best country. So many other countries have freedom. We know that, right? Going into bankruptcy because you took a trip to the hospital. For car insurance purposes, your windshield is no longer a part of your car and requires its own coverage. The customer is always right. No, no, they're not. I am so sick of this concept. This enables and sometimes even rewards being a complete asshole. Apparently, other countries don't make kids face the flag and pledge their allegiance every morning. We're going to change this up a little bit and go a little bit deeper into certain subjects. Let's start with the fuckery that is college. It's already bad enough that tuition is so high, but what really grinds my gears is the college fees like student activity fee. What? A transportation fee, but you still have to pay for parking if you drive to campus. The athletic fee, but you still have to pay if you want to use the facilities. A fee for an ID card. A fee to request your own transcripts. A technology fee, but you still have to pay for printing. A student success fee. What the f A student health fee. But you still have to pay for student insurance if you actually want to use any of the health services. When you have to pay for a new textbook because they changed three sentences from last year and now it's a new edition. Similarly, when they make an online workbook for that same textbook and you have to pay for that too. Paying for your application to graduate. And none of these fees are optional. So what does our tuition even pay for? The following is a list of real fees presented on real medical bills and given to real Americans and been like, yeah, please pay these. Father reported a $40 charge for skin to skin contact with his infant. He was charged to hold his baby. $80 for a teaspoon of Vaseline. $15 for a Tylenol pill. Wait, wait, did you want the nurse to hand you the pill? Oh, that'll be $625. $35,000 for an ectopic pregnancy. And if you lost the baby and you don't have insurance, that'll be $9,000 for a miscarriage. $600 to remove stitches. $8,000 for a head CT. $120,000 for a chemotherapy treatment. One treatment. It's also between five and 10 grand to have a baby in the US. <laughs> Do you have a ridiculous fee you've had to pay? Share it with us. Not having kettles. I can't believe that the vast majority of Americans don't use kettles. They like heat up water on the stove. They microwave water. What is that about? Like, look at this that I saw on Twitter. A fucking godsend, sis. Oh my god, mine is so cute and rose gold. Got it from Target like a year ago. Plus, it shuts off once it boils, so I don't burn shit, El Mayo. I get so tired of warming water on the stove like my ancestors. Tip if you haven't thought of it already. Boil the kettle for cooking as well. For example, if you're making pasta, instead of Bringing the water to boil on the stove, boil it in the kettle, then pour it into the pot so you don't have to wait. Like, come on. I get that it's a British thing in culture to make tea, but surely everyone could just use a fucking kettle. Like, grow up?